you know, I told our, our kids after the game that the, the, the game wasn't lost in the second half. The game was lost in the first half. And, um, you know, I thought our effort was good in the second half. And we kept fighting. We were down 19 at one point. But, uh, you know, for the most part with our team this year, I've been very pleased with the effort they've given. Sometimes things haven't gone right. But wasn't wasn't pleased in the first half with the effort that we gave. and. Uh, Despite that, uh, we crawl back and at the three something deal, we have a couple layup opportunities and we miss one, we walk on one. And then with 213 to go, we miss a layup and uh, we miss a, a point blank put back and we miss four straight free throws. If you're going to win basketball games, you've got to make plays. The difference in the game is three made plays and, and, uh, Besides this one right here, we didn't make a lot of plays. I thought she was very gutsy tonight, uh, was the same way at Baylor. Uh, is coming off of, of COVID protocol and has had very, very little practice and just has, has operated the last two ball game on sheer guts. And, uh, you know, if, I, if I'm going down a, a dark alley, I want to be with this kid because she's going to fight and she's going to, She's going to punch it out. So she did a lot of things. We maybe even forced her into taking some shots that weren't comfortable for her. But uh, she played with no fear and was, was very gutsy. And that's, that's the highlight out of this performance. Coach, um, you mentioned that 23-3 to three run. What exactly went into that from your perspective? We were passive. We were on our heels. They were, they were getting up and getting after us. And... Uh, Sometimes when people defend you that hard, you you got to forget running plays, and you just got to put your head down and go to the hole. She did that, you know. Sometimes uh, common sense overrules plays. We were trying to run offense when we needed to be going downhill, and we got to the free throw line. And again, we missed quite a few free throws and missed them in key times. But uh, that's how you got to play. West Virginia is is. They pressure you, they're up underneath you. You got to drive them to the basket. The team had shot free throws pretty well um, compared to the rest of the season for the first three quarters of the game. How painful was it that that kind of maybe caught up to you in the last few minutes? Well, I mean, that's, we talk about it being a pride thing. You've got to get over here in the evening. It's uh, the really good players, it's, it's what you do when nobody's watching. When practice isn't around, when a coach isn't around, are you getting in the gym? Are you making three pointers? Or are you making two footers? Are you hitting uh, hitting free throws on it right there? And and uh, you know it's just about what you do when nobody's watching you. And, and we've missed too many free throws all year long. It's been it's plagued us all year long, and uh, it came back and, and and got us again. But right along with that is is easy buckets at the layup. Uh, you know. Uh, our margin of error is not very high this year, and you've got to make little shots and you've got to make free throws, especially with Lowe being out. What has that been like for um, Lauren, just kind of with her being the leading scorer, what's it been like kind of trying to get team production without her in the lineup? Well, I, I don't uh, – again, it's a, it's a COVID situation and everybody is going through it, but uh, – it, it, it hurts us. I mean, it's a kid that uh, uh, plays with no fear, is, is explosive offensively, is one of our, our best defensive players. And, and uh, you know, I don't care what level it is or what sport it is, uh, you take your best player off the, the, the field, it's going to make a difference. You take your quarterback off the field, you take, you take uh, one of your best players, I don't care if it's NFL, NBA, uh, NCAA, men or women, it's a factor. Now, where you hope you're good enough and you prepare well enough to, to overcome that until, until she gets back. Lexi, we saw a little bit of a different style of play from you um, today, getting to the free throw line in that second quarter and kind of attacking. What kind of went into that? Honestly, I just had to get, I've been trying to figure out new ways to score, and primarily I've just been a three-point shooter, and um, when they're up that that big, you're not going to or up that tide, they're not going to get very many shots off. And um, when I saw openings and stuff, I just put my head down and attacked. 
at the end of the third quarter, you hit that three that kind of made it a little bit more reachable from 13 down to 10. How big of a three is that for confidence, not only for you, but for your team going into that fourth quarter? I think it's more of a momentum thing. When you end a quarter like that on a thing shot or whatever it was, um, I think that just momentum is a big thing in basketball. And I think, I don't know if it's just confidence on my side or not, because it wasn't a pretty shot, but um, I think that kind of lightened the mood a little bit. Uh, you guys had an unusual amount of turnovers today with 21. What went wrong securing the ball today? Well, first of all, that's West Virginia style. If you watch, if you watch their men play, you watch their women play, they play alike. They're, they're going to pressure you, get up underneath you, and make you go make plays, and, and they also are going to attack the glass. So it's their style of play. And then, you know, if you look at it, uh, um, our, um, our post players had like 12 turnovers. It's, un it's understandable when guards turn it over a little bit under pressure, but when your bigs turn it over, it gets you in trouble. You guys just shot 30% from the field. How tough is it to mount a, a huge comeback like you did and lose by four points knowing that you only shot 30% from the field? It's a game. It's a game of making shots and, and making little two-footers and, and free throws and Nobody, nobody plans on it, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna win a lot of games shooting 30. percent You kind of, you kind of wonder. Okay, we 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 shot 30 percent from the floor. We shot 27 percent from the line, and we shot 60 something uh, from the free throw line. And you got a chance to cut it to one with two minutes to go. I mean, it makes you wonder how you're that close when, when you don't shoot it as well as you need to shoot it. Last year, I you know when you all faced West Virginia in the Big 12 tournament, Kirsten Deans kind of sealed the win for West Virginia. What do you think it is that makes her so talented out there? Well, she's, she's talented. She's hard-nosed. She seeks her shot, but she's experienced. She's a kid that's been around for a long time. Is, is she a senior or is she a grad senior? I don't know. She's played a lot of ball games anyway. She's played a lot of ball games, and and her mo motor runs high, and and uh, she wants to score, you know. And that's what I'm proud about this one today. I mean, uh, again, it, and and she tell you we we probably forced her into more shots than than she felt comfortable shooting on that, but she had the she had the inner guts going to step up and and take shots, and that that pleases me. Lexi, I know you mentioned trying to score different ways. Besides that, just when you came back into the lineup after you were out with protocol, how did that kind of affect your mentality going forward? Um, I was a little nervous coming back just because I hadn't had practice time in the Baylor game was the first time I'd gone full court. Um, but really, my teammates just were behind me, and um, seeing them excited to have me back was, I think, a big boost for me, honestly. Um, so I think that was the biggest role for me, that her factor that played in. You talked about confidence going even back earlier to the season, and now that you were able to, you know, make some big shots today, how do you think you can convey that to the rest of the team? Honestly, um, I think when Logue comes back, with me stepping up, because I think it's been good for me to, um, or matured me a lot with her kind of being out right now um, and kind of giving me a little bit more experience and figuring out who I want to be, like on offense especially. Um, but honestly, I think me stepping up and scoring, I think that takes a little bit of pressure off her, and I think that'll roll onto the rest. Lexi, how cool is it to have little nine-year-old Addie warming up out there uh, on the court before the game? That's always um, – I have a heart for people like that, people that are struggling and people that just have it – they don't – they have a lot on their shoulders and at a young age. And um, just seeing her out there, seeing her smile, that was the best part of it. Um, I was excited for her. Um, it's kind of just taking a pause in life and just giving her a break, and I think that's really special. Puts things in perspective in a hurry. Anything else? Thank you, guys.